PT, man. Perfect timing, man. We're over here at Midnight Studios once again. Um, I actually got a chance to walk in and catch PT doing his thing with Misery, man. Uh, tell us a little bit about PT, man. Perfect timing. Yeah, perfect timing. It's a, it's a name I kind of came up with. Uh, really perfect timing came from, I'm a little older. Uh, you know, I didn't get to do this start off whenever I was young. I started when I was a little older, but but it's the uh, it's perfect time, you know? So that's kind of where that came from. All right, all right, man. Uh, when you say, like, getting older and everything, when you say, you know what I'm saying, listening to Screw and all that, living in Houston, I mean, would you say that have an influence on just pursuing the, the music? Uh, it definitely had an influence on, uh, on me actually going out there and doing it because, you know, like, the Kiki and Slim Thug, they were just regular people just like us. You know, you see them, you know, you look at it, oh, that's Slim Thug, but that, you know, really, really, if you've seen him from the beginning, you know, he didn't really, he didn't always have that big old chain, you know, he didn't always have all that. But, oh, you yeah. know, he gave us something to, if you knew him from the beginning, you kind Man, of... Man, so you were one of those uh, individuals that had to work, essential workers, I guess you'd say, they, they used to call us, man. Yeah. That's cool, man. You still found time to do that, man. Always, always. Even even now, now works picking up, real busy, but, you know, I got my family, wife and kids, but I always still make time to make music, you know? Oh, yeah, man. And like I got I said, the support system, too. You know, my wife, she she always lets, she, she, she knows how I feel about it, so she lets me make time for it, you know what I'm saying? She she respects it, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I mean, you got to have that balance of swing your life in the studio and, you know, what, you, sure. what your passion is, but you find that special someone that supports your passion, yeah. you know what I mean? You can't really go wrong there man yeah. that's 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 you know one of one of a kind for yeah. real really is man um so you just mentioned that you do beats yeah you do beats man uh do you have any beats out there that you you know what I'm saying put on some tracks maybe work with some different artists with, with some of your your music yeah for sure um right now we've got a uh, working on this ep with the uh, zone from uh f and e flows and effects uh, yeah. shout out f and e uh yeah i've got some working on I got something going on with them. That's what's up, man. We coming out, coming out soon. Hopefully by the end of the year we get that EP finished up and drop that. All right, all right, man. I mean, has beats really always been your thing, or do you get out there on 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 the track too? You put the headphones on, get in the studio. I would say my eventual goal would be to uh, eventually be able to quit my day job and make beats full time. You know, make enough money from beats where I can support my family, support you know what we want to do. Vacations, you know, pay the bills, all oh, that stuff. Yeah. Not just, not just pay the bills, but you know, pay the bills plus, you know. Do you have any goals, like as of maybe like a stepping stone or like yeah. somewhere, you, like steps that you want to take to be able to reach those artists that you know that will break break the bank for them beats? Uh, man, right now I'm just I'm just going hard working on you know, posting good content on my on my social media on my Instagram, and uh, artists. Yeah, um, some artists I like to work with, I would say uh, probably D-Baby, just in case, uh, just to name a couple of them. Uh, you know, some of the, not small, but, you know, smaller, you know, uh, yeah, for sure, artists. Man. Uh, bigger, bigger artists, uh, I would say, like, some people like Kevin Gates, of course. So growing up over there in the Southeast, man, I mean, do you think that may have a play on just, you know, one that better life i mean how do you how do you feel about your childhood influencing where you're at being oh, the man sure. you are now oh, i think uh, you know that would that would kind of i would mesh well there uh, i think my beats milano or maybe memphis you know nice man we're gonna have to check out those beats man uh, yeah i do custom beats i've did uh i've did a few of them um and a lot of times i just send me a reference track and i kind of go, go right. based on that uh, would you ever consider working in the studio with a, with an artist, you know, just, you know, upon their request or maybe they paid you for your time, you know, to be in the studio with them? Do you feel like you could, you know, probably help put a little, little, little sauce on there? Uh, oh, for sure. For sure. No doubt. All right. All right, man. You heard it here, man. Hey, get at PT, man, for any kind of studio time. If, if you can, you know, if you want them in there and help you out, you know, give you some pointers. Hey, great minds think alike. Hey, if you like the beats, hey, be sure to give them a shout out. And uh, yeah, man, like and subscribe. Definitely hit them up, man, for all your needs for your beats. 
studio time or whatnot, man. All right, man. Well, shit, we're going to close this one out, man. Hey, I appreciate you coming out. And, hey, just like your name, perfect timing, man. We, we, we caught you, man. Yeah, we yeah. caught you. <laughs> All right, man. All right, man.